Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. That was NBC5 Sid Buley reporting. Hey, I'll tell you what, that food truck makes me so excited for mm. the weather we're going to have this weekend. I know, perfect time to get out and enjoy it, which uh, is uh, pretty lucky for us because 27 years ago today, we were dealing with wind gusts of over 100 miles per hour in parts of the oh region. So pretty, pretty crazy stuff. We'll show you that map there. This is uh, what they called the Adirondack Super Derecho. That's what it was nicknamed. Oh, wow. And you can see the track of it outlined in the blue. It came through during the early morning hours of July 15th, 1995. And you can see this mostly impacted southern portions of the Adirondacks into Vermont with wind gusts of over 100 miles per hour. There were actually five fatalities and 11 injuries. Some of you may remember hearing about this if you've lived in the region. Unfortunately, uh, many people were caught off caught off guard out in the Adirondacks with camping and all that stuff. So luckily, no, nothing like that around the region today. We are just dealing with beautiful weather. Certainly a reminder that things could be worse this time of year. Sunshine right now at Jay Peak, 67 degrees, a little bit of a light wind out of the north and east. Temperatures mostly in the 70s though around the region. We're at 77 in Burlington, 79 in Lebanon. Overall, just a fantastic summer day in progress with that sunshine. Couple of puffy afternoon clouds developing in the heat of the day. We've got high pressure firmly in control. And what that means is all this weather you see off to the west is going to just be shunted way off to the south. So kind of this high pressure force field sitting around us all week and bringing us our beautiful weather. So that's why we got the dry weather lasting through the entire weekend. But temps will be rising to above normal levels by Sunday and into next week. And then we do have more frequent rain chances by next week as well. So we'll do a little zoomed out version of Futurecast for you and show you that all these weather systems you see off to the west are just going to be pulled off to the south, way off the mid-Atlantic coast. We've got high pressure in control. Maybe a couple clouds over northern New England tonight. But, can, but you can see as we get into Saturday, pretty much total sunshine over northern parts of the area. Those weather systems continuing to be shunted off to our south, even into Sunday, continuing that theme of the sunshine. Now, Monday, that's when we look at some more rain. You can see a system starting to develop and move in our direction as we get into later Sunday evening into Monday morning, which is good news because we are certainly dry out there, especially over eastern areas. The Adirondacks actually have a surplus of rain, uh, two inches above normal there in Saranac Lake for the year. But look at Montpelier here in St. Jay, three to five inches below normal for the annual precipitation. So certainly could use the rain out there and you can visualize the drought even more on the Lake Champlain level. Over the last two weeks, it's dropped off fairly quickly, and you can see that our normal level is right around 95.86 feet. We're about a half foot below that right now, so we do definitely will be hoping for a little bit more rain. But today, we will enjoy that dry weather, almost total sunshine, couple of afternoon clouds, light winds, temps in the middle 70s if you're headed up to the Adirondacks. Perfect day for a hike, 79 up there in Messina, 80 near uh, the lake, uh, and same for northern Vermont. As you go toward the lake, you'll see lower, lower 80s. Burlington looking at 82, 81 in Virgins, 78 in South Hero, and mid to upper 70s in the mountains. A little bit warmer down in the upper valley with uh, lower to middle 80s there, 70s as you go toward the spine of the Green Mountains. And tonight is certainly comfortable once again, no humidity to speak of. A couple more clouds in the picture, lows mostly in the 50s, but I could certainly see some more 40s out there in portions of the Tri Lakes area. And then we have that gradual warm up throughout the weekend, keeping that sunshine in the forecast, more humid by Sunday. And then Monday, that comes our first chance of rain. Couple of chances throughout the week. Tuesday, Wednesday, I think our best chance lies on Thursday with the passage of a cold front. Could be watching some severe weather, so we'll keep a close eye on it for you. But we are glad that we will see some more rain chances in the forecast. Back to you, Zuri.